What's up, Pirates? Explorager here, and we are back with some more Salt 2. So, last episode, we got to check out a few of the new update uh, items that came out. In the latest patch, so we got to check out the Marshlands Village and did the quest for the Witch Doctor. Uh, and we are now doing some more quests for these guys here. So we, we're just going to jump right into it for the Silver Veil. We are going to talk to Joshua and continue on with trying to get these items to stop this evil cult from coming in. Uh, Marcus wanted us to talk to you, artifacts, which ones in particular, show him this book, and these, these aren't just any artifacts, this, this are incredibly rare, I think that's what say, these are incredibly rare, but that's okay, uh, and are going to be difficult to find, so how do we find these, yes, yes, I can help, I have heard rumors of where the Mad King's skull may be, the others, I'll need some time to research, okay, sounds about right. Uh, there's a book on pirate history that tells the story of a king and his crew who was exploring a cove when the mountains around him collapsed, trapping them in a cave deep beneath the surface. This was a long time ago, and efforts to find such a cave have been fruitless until recently. Ooh, some found it. I heard some pirates in a tavern recently speaking of a cave they found that sounded like this place. They spoke of locking it up and coming back later to explore for its treasure. Uh, while they were drunk on their ale, I managed to procure a key and a map. You, you stole, you stole the key, but that's okay. We'll forgive you. Uh, and a map off of one of them that I believe might lead to this cave. Ooh, this sounds risky. Yes, and sometimes the risk is worth it. I can't say for certain that this cave is the right place, but if it is, then it would most certainly contain this skull that we're looking for. Uh, this, take this key and map. Go there and search for the Mad King Skull. Should you find it, return to me and hopefully I'll have located the second artifact location by then. I just want to say it, it's a little bit weird that you guys want a skull. You know, you guys are Silver Veil Sanctuary. Uh, you guys are like holy people and you want skulls. I, when I think of that, I think of like necromancy, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Drop a comment down below. What would you think of that? So Mad King Skull, we should have gotten a map. Waypoint this sucker. Uh, is it that one? 17 East, 11 South. Okay. It does not look like we've got a fast travel closer to it. So I guess I will head on out and we'll do some sailing. All right. And we are heading out and sailing up towards our next island location here to go get the Mad King Skull. So um, I won't show the whole sailing, but I just wanted to kind of touch base. Last episode, I got to show off a little bit of the weather effects and the new sailing mechanics, uh, which involves uh, some of the, the water effects hitting the boat and the wind that you get to go with. And oh, we're heading a little off track. I think I went too far. I went a little too far. Okay, we're going back this way. <laughs> uh, the birds you can see out there now. There's a little bit more life out in the ocean, which is really cool. Um, yeah, I'm loving the effects that these guys did. I just wanted to basically let you guys know that typically I would do a update video when a new update comes out, and I know there was one, but unfortunately things have just been busy for me, and I'm hoping that they slow down here soon. Uh, so I didn't do a video for the update this time around. I'm just playing the content, showing off the new stuff. In my last video, if you haven't checked it out on the channel, be sure to do so. I showed off a bunch of the new stuff from the previous update uh, just in my normal playthrough. So. With that, I'll meet you guys at the island. All right, we should be coming up on the island here right quick. I was just stopping at an outpost one there, collecting some stuff. You can see on the left side of my screen there, it says wind boosted. So that was one of the new features from the update. So you can see the wind, the little bits of lines that are actually going through. We lost it now, though, but it was there for a second. But yeah, you can see when you actually get wind boosted, you'll get a little icon there, which is really cool. Oh, and this works out beautifully, you guys. Okay, so this is perfect. So this is where we're going to get the Mad King Skull, apparently, for this quest. But this is like a, a giant king's um, kind of base in here. And at the top is going to be one of the guys there that we need. I showed one of these off in a past video. And underneath this is going to be a cave door. But in order to access it, we need three of these items that you can only get from killing one of these king uh, the, the main guys in this base and I've got two of them I was kind of waiting I was gonna do this where I was gonna go in and kill one of these guys uh, again in the future come back and show this off but we can kill two birds with one stone we'll actually do this we'll get the skull we'll make the key we'll see if we can get in and underneath and show this off this was a previous end game um, 
spot before they started doing these updates for the main story pack. So yeah, super exciting. Let's clear this base out though. Come get some fool. Yeah. All right. Oh, and I gained a level from it. Very nice. I want to be careful. These guys do bleed damage, and I've already been attacked by a couple of them, so these timber wolves are pain. All right. Go down. Get get wrecked, fool. There we go. You know, it's actually harder than it looks to try and hit these guys moving. I don't know why. There we go. All right, come get some. Yep. 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 There we go. Okay. You got some goodies on you. Perfect. We'll take those. There's you. Oh, there's the king. Oh, here we go. Okay. I wasn't expecting him to move around. Well, they hit hard, too. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go down. Let's block. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we got another guy coming in. Oh. Oh, and I'm out of stamina. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Ah. <laughs> oh, no. This might end badly. I'm not even doing that much damage to him. Oh, I died. Oh, my goodness. All right. I feel like I maybe could have got... He just... When you block, he takes away all of your stamina. Okay, well, we'll we're going to change. Okay. Uh, on, was not this on. Was that on? All right. Let's head back. And normally it wouldn't have been a problem. I would have got an arrow shot off on him, and I think that would have done a bit of damage. He does a lot of damage to you, though, and takes up all of your stamina with one block. So, um, yeah, he caught me off. Yeah, that was really what happened. So, uh, there's you. Hello, do you see me? You don't see me? If I can get a shot off on him first. At least, oh, we should be able to do this. He's got next to no health left now, so... Yeah. <clears throat> Okay. All right. He did not regenerate, regenerate health, so we're good. Okay. That's that's okay. So this should give us dungeon key recipe, which we have. It's the dungeon key shard that we needed. We need three of those. This is our third one. Uh, Inquisitor's scourge recipe, king's crown, the galleon, which I still want to build. Okay. So we got that. Uh, oh, hello. Hello. You're just hanging out there. Okay. All right. What do we got up here? Let's go have a look. This is kind of like the king's perch up here. And let's unlock this. Oh, shack door key required. Okay, that. Uh, let's see up here. That is probably the key that we were. Yeah, shack door key right there. Perfect. Okay. We've also got this chest. Oh, this was the key that we got off of him. Okay. So we got a new purple axe. That's okay. Ravager's Reaver recipe. Okay. Uh, no skull yet, though. Okay. Hmm. Oh, and I pulled out an axe. Let's see in here. Okay. Yes, let's get in here. Let's get all the goodies. All right, and we are going to craft the King's Dungeon Key. Boom. One King's Dungeon Key done. And let's go check out underneath this fortress. Interact. Use Dungeon Key. Yes. All right, let's see what's underneath here. Ooh, that's a little spooky. Elder King's Dungeon. Okay, I, I don't know what to expect in here, you guys. Probably some bad things. This was supposed to be the end game previous to when they started doing the main quest line here. I can see a guy there already. Now, can I shoot you through this? Oh, well, you moved, so that's there. Okay, let me see it. Oh, I can! <laughs> but you can't get me. You don't know what to do. How about you open this door for me, would you? No? That's not what you're interested in doing? Okay, well, let's just sit here and pick you off then. Awesome. And if you are watching this and made it this far, drop a comment down below. Let me know. Have you actually finished and cleared out this, this Pirate King dungeon? I'm very curious to know who actually kind of went through and, and did all this. I, I just hadn't made it this far yet before the... the the axe came out so uh, for the main storyline and then I got really kind of squirreled into doing that so uh, oh yes oh that's beautiful and good night oh, did you see that <laughs> he went flying I love it always looking for secret passages so I love those oh there's a guy right there another king's guard and uh, get Good night. All right. We're going to have to go sell some items again here pretty soon. Okay, I 
think that does it for in here. Let's move on to this room, unless there's anything up here. Uh, no. Okay. Oh, 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 yes, right here. Boom. And that is why I'm always on the lookout for secrets. Look at that. Okay. Let's grab all these goodies. Perfect. Ingots. I always want those. I want to be building that new... The King's Galley. I say new. It's bad. <laughs> I've had it for a while. I'm sorry. I have not... I just haven't gone around to doing it yet, so so much going on. But I want to build the King's Galleon. That's one of my next goals here very soon. Show it off for you guys. I don't know what you did, but it must have been something pretty bad. Uh, let's see here. And what is behind door number two? Another guy. All right. Yeah. Come get some. go all right that's good okay what else oh my gosh <laughs> you just came out of nowhere <laughs> he scared me <laughs> okay go down ah, king's guard at least you guys don't do a lot of damage all right let's head on up here uh looks like we could be getting to the end of this one maybe oh oh no Ooh. All right, looks like we've got some parkouring going on here. Okay, let's put the skills to the test, shall we? Uh, fair warning, I suck at parkour. <laughs> let's see how this goes. Okay, oh, there's a... Ooh, we probably have to go up there, don't we? Can we make that? Uh, no, can't make that. No. Nope, there's a... <laughs> you guys didn't make the parkour either. <gasps> oh, we're taking poison damage. Oh, I knew. Ooh, okay, so we don't want to be down in there. Good to know. Don't think it's letting me jump that high from there. If I went to that side, maybe that side will do it. Okay, we made that. I don't know if there's anything there. Ooh, that's a long jump. I don't know if I'm going to make that. Well, if not, wish me luck. Okay. Oh, there's a skeleton down there. And oh yes, okay. Whew, that's pretty far too. All right, here we go. And uh, oh, oh, come on, come on, scale it. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Okay, perfect. Oh my gosh, it was. <laughs> oh, just for that. Oh, that was sad. That was sad. I can't even lie about that. All right. Um. We make it back. We should be able to make it back to there. I think. Yeah. Now over to you. What is even over there? Is there anything worth jumping? What happened to you? How did you die up there? I just, oh, oh! I made that just barely. I don't think I'm making that one though. Um, oh, okay. Let's see here. Oh, I fell. Oh no! Oh, oh, poison! Oh, poison's bad. Come on, get out of the poison. Yeah, there we go. Go, go, go. Oh my goodness. Okay. Whew. Yeah. So I just, I just really needed to just do it all in one shot. Apparently, instead of slowing down. When you slow down or when you stop, it takes away your stamina that you're, um, or it takes away your stamina. But it, it takes away your sprint. So then you got to get going. You got to hit the button again. So you got to, yeah. It's just, it's a lot of Mickey Mousing. So definitely easier just to do it all in one shot. Okay, but we're through. We're through that room. Thank goodness. I feel like a boss fight's coming up. I just, I don't know why, I, just, I have that feeling. Yes. Blue door, green door, red door. No, it's gonna be a puzzle. Okay. Let's have a look at the book. Do you tell me what the puzzle is? Notes on doors. All right, I've come up with an ingenious design to keep those pesky low ranking pirates out of the prison area. Only one of these doors opens. The other two I've triggered with a poison trap, really? <sighs> All right, uh, so, <laughs> so anyone that tries to open it will get a nice spray of poison to the face. In order to remember which one is correct, I've associated it with a riddle and my favorite color. How clever am I? My ingenious riddle. The first man was filled with envy and greed in his heart, and it was corrupt. This would not satisfy the witch. 
The second man was angry and blinded by rage that overworked his heart. It would not last long enough to give immortality to the witch. All right, so after reading this book again, this poem, this is what I'm thinking here, you guys. You know what's saying, green with envy? I think green is going to be the, the envy door. Um, so I don't want to choose that one. Red, I always find red is associated to rage. So I'm going to leave the red door. I think it's going to be the blue door. We're about to find, okay, here we go. And, hey, 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 all right. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so we got the right door, and now we're gonna come into here. And what have we got in here? We got a guy right there. Okay, and, ooh, this poor sap. I don't know what you did, but it couldn't have been anything good. I don't know, I don't know, all right, well. Let's go find out. Elder King's Labyrinth. Oh no. This cave is extremely dark and difficult to find your way through without a light. I'm leaving a lantern in the stored chest by the table in case anyone forgets theirs. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh. Okay, so I did one of these before, the labyrinths, you guys, and I put a video up for it. There's labyrinth caves, uh, and I put a video up on the channel for it, but I don't think this is going to be the same one. Oh, jeepers, okay, you can see me, okay. Let's get rid of you. I don't want to be... Yeah, see, and this, this is going to be tricky because this is going to be a whole lot of darkness. We're going to get surprised, I have a feeling. Uh, oh, there's another dead end. Okay. And a key. Oh, good. Okay, so we just managed to come the right way, right off the bat. Okay, perfect. Key, which is required, so we will use the key here. You know what? I came in here, and then I realized I grabbed that key off the table, and there was that other room that required the key, and I didn't go back and get it must be the good stuff gold lamp post recipe okay we had a few things out of there okay and this just brings us back out elder king's chamber oh my goodness okay all right oh wow he just Likes to have uh, likes to have trophies hanging around. I see. <laughs> what we got here? Mysterious note: The Elder King resides in the chamber ahead. He is not to be disturbed under any circumstance. Do so at your own peril. Ooh, okay, so we got a bit of a warning here. Well, I mean, I've never really been one for eating warnings. I think we're just gonna go see if we can have a chat with this guy, shall we? Okay. Come on. No. 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 Oh. Well, yeah, he takes up a lot. Oh my gosh, I can't even move. Oh, he's calling for help. Well, that's not good. That is not good. Oh my gosh, come on, come on. Oh, I died, okay. All right, come on, come on. I can actually move now, which is nice. Going down, going down. I think the that sword was way better. There we go. Okay. Now you guys, you guys need to go down. Okay, I switched it up. I went with the sword. Come on. Yep, there we go. Okay. There we go. Oh my goodness, that was ridiculous. But we did it. Okay, exit gate key, perfect. King's tapestry, magnificent scepter of servitude. Goodness, okay. But no Mad King Skull. That was not the Mad King. That was the Elder King. Oh. Okay. All right. Yeah, I had to... I couldn't move. That was part of the problem was that I was, I was just stationary. So they were just sitting there hitting me. Um, but I swapped out some potions and I managed to... And I'm uncumbered again. I got rid of some stuff. I, um, I swapped out and did a potion for slash damage and put my my uh, sword back on but my sword wasn't typically doing a lot of great things for me before
<laughs> All right, you guys. So I kind of blundered this just a little bit here. Um, we finished up this whole huge um, fortress here with the cave underneath. I did not get the Mad King's Skull, which is what we need for the first artifact of the Act 2 quest line. So up there is a door, which is going to lead us to what we need. Um, coincidentally, this quest just led us to the King's Fortress Island, which is what we needed in order to finish this from the original main quests. Or sorry, from the, I say the main quest, but from before. This is actually old quest from before the updates for the main quest line which is what's going to bring us into there um this was i wanted to finish this anyways so i'm actually kind of happy it brought us here the kind of a big coincidence but it brought us here and we got to finish it and i got to show off that quest line that's from the original game uh before the updates and so next episode we're gonna go into there in that door and we're gonna go find the mad king skull i'm, I'm assuming again i'm assuming because i didn't see one of those the last couple of these islands that I went to for the King's Fortress. I'm assuming that was added in uh, after the fact for this quest specifically, but yes, yeah, sorry for the long ramble. I'm going to end this episode here today, you guys. I got to show this off. I'm very happy with that. Um, with that, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Like I said, I asked a question earlier. Have you finished the King's Fortress? Uh, got the three pieces of shard, made the key, gone in underneath, and taken out the, the, the Elder King, I guess. I got this item here. I was super happy with it. This is what's going to replace uh, our sword. Or sorry, not our sword, but our old mace. This is a massive upgrade. 4 to 24 bludgeoning damage uh, versus the 5 to 17. And then I still got to put the talents on it. I'm super excited for this, you guys. That is going to be oh, just a lot of fun. So I can't wait to put that thing to use. Uh, again, with that, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the support. Hopefully I'll be back very soon with another episode for you guys. Uh, consider subscribing and hitting the like button for me. I really appreciate it. It goes a long ways, and I appreciate all of you guys' support. So with that, have an awesome day, and we'll catch you at the next episode. All right, peace.